Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for a new episode. I was going to say another episode, but a new episode. A how-to episode on Project Hospital. Now available on Steam from Oxymoron Games. This is a really fun, uh, fun game. I really enjoy it, and I hope you will, too. As we're going to do a how-to campaign, uh, how-to campaign two so there are campaigns built into the game you have to do campaign one it's really kind of simple i think we're going to cover plenty of the concepts here as we do campaign two as there are some technicalities and whatnot uh involved and that's weird how that has not switched over i may have to relaunch into the game here real quick so let me just do that uh, let me just do that let me do this and Huh. It's just I'm, I'm hearing the... Okay, you know what? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. It could just be that this is... Uh, cancel playing out through... Oh, it's, it's playing out through the monitor. Okay, anyway, whatever. All right, because I, I have the um, Project Hospital theme music playing in the background there so all right i hope everyone's having a great weekend as we uh, roll into easter tomorrow and celebrate the uh resurrection of jesus all right so let's uh let's take a look chat's open make sure you say hi check in with your local airport code or uh, tell us where you're at on planet earth and that would be swell appreciate you being here hope you'll like share and subscribe and uh become a regular contributor in the chat because we appreciate that all right so project hospital of course is a hospital simulator game you build the hospital there's three games in one effectively you build the design and build the hospital you manage the hospital and you can play doctor so three things now what we're doing here is we're taking on an already existing hospital hi boss this hospital used to belong to misfire medical but it was built very fast without consideration about layout and personnel which is why it's very inefficient and losing money the main reason they sold it well that makes sense so, hi, Q. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you uh, coming in, saying hi. Hope you're having a great weekend and happy Easter to you and your family. We have to tell us about your uh, about your computer, your new computer sometime. I mean, we've tried about it. I hope you're enjoying playing new games and stuff on it. Super cool, but thank you for stopping by. All right, so let's hit this next here. To be able to take care of our patients, we need to make this hospital more efficient. See what you can improve and how many patients we can cure now. Okay. All right. So it says treat 20 patients per day. All right. Now, uh, using uh, page up, page down, we're able to look through the different le levels of the hospital here. Down to the ground level. Okay. So page up. There's second. There's ground floor, second floor, third floor. And there's a really, I mean, it's a cool design because it's got like the, uh, the drive uh, covered area. A couple of them actually and you have like a uh, so we're going to cons we're going to call this portion over here the uh the main building and this area over here where the ambulances are parked and the er uh reception is that's the annex okay that way we can kind of you know keep track of what we got going on now if we look down at the bottom left here we have an emergency department we have radiology we have labs and we have internal medicine those are the departments we have, all right? So let's get uh, acclimated to what we actually have going on with this design. And now we're down at the ground level, we can actually make the walls disappear with the uh, home and end keys. So you can go one step, you can go two steps, all right? We're gonna go one step. All right, so first off, let's go into the main building here. Now, ostensibly, we have an ER clinic, and that's all well and good. But as you noted on the uh, thumbnail, there's something a little odd here. You have doors coming in here, and you come down the hall, and you've got a uh, lab here. That's a uh, hematology lab, which is your basic blood analysis laboratory. Uh, you have some doctor's offices, right? You have a restroom, and doink, you have a wall. Who was the genius who put that there? Hmm. Because on here, we have an on-call office for doctors. Now, 
if you've paid attention to the past couple episodes, you know, if we build a clinic, an ER clinic, we just put a desk in there and the doctor chills out. That's their office. All right. They're set, hooked up, boom, done. All right. The on-call offices are for your surgical doctors and ER doctors. So you have to understand the, the way that works between the two of them to then understand, okay, well, wait a minute. Why do I need an on-call room? Well, in a lot of cases, like if you do the internal medicine department, you go up here and you click on the management tools, all right? These are your basic rooms over here, okay? But over here is hospitalization. And hospitalization um, is inpatient. This is outpatient clinic and an inpatient over here, okay? And it shows how many staff you have on day and night shift, okay? So you, between an internal medicine office, which our last episode, uh, just looking at the game, we built one of these, all right? And doctors can, they'll be assigned to that room and they'll treat patients as they're sent in from the reception area. Well, they check in in reception, then they sit in the waiting area and then they get called into the doctor's office. Doc checks them out. Maybe they got a, a broken arm or a you know, sprained wrist or something. Doc will patch them up in there and then send them on their way. Okay? So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you have shared rooms, restrooms, corridors, elevator planning, and common rooms. Common rooms are where your staff go to relax, uh, you know, have a Coke and a smile and uh, chill uh, during their shift. Okay? So they take a break there. Now, hospitalization, you have a diagnostic unit. All right? And uh, they treat hospitalized patients. You have to have a doctor there. You have cardiography unit. You have special procedures units. Okay, cardiography, of course, cardiology is the study of the heart. Cardiography diagnostic unit provides various examination methods, tests related to human cardiovascular system. Okay. So you got to have a technologist who's a, a cardiologist, specializes in cardiology. All right. And now my background in working at Medical City Dallas, I was in non-invasive cardiology, and that included uh, EKG technicians, which is what I was. Uh, we do EKG tests or ECG tests, electrocardiogram tests on patients, and that involves hooking up a series of leads to the body and then seeing the output of the heart rate and examining it as an electrical wave, okay? Special procedures unit, uh, is a unique internal medicine used primarily for minimally invasive procedures. So really, minimally invasive to me um, is outpatient. You put someone under, do minimum invasive procedure, and then you, you know, wake them up, hold them for a couple hours to observe them, and then you send them on their way. Okay, give them a lollipop. Okay, you're out of here. Thanks for playing. Now, the on-call room is where doctors need a department are based here, okay? I mean, I guess you can have an on-call room for your doctors in the ER clinic. I just as soon have them in their offices, right? So you send a patient to them, bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. All right, that makes sense to me. That's more efficient. You have a nurse's station. Now, when you have wards, like in this case, a regular ward and in the HDU, high dependency unit, you have to have a nurse's station to keep an eye on them. And then there's a lounge for visitors, okay? So kind of get into a little more depth of the hospital. Now, we have five levels of beds, right? From most important, you have trauma center beds or operating room beds. Then you have intensive care unit and observation. Those kind of run two, three. Those are people who've got to be monitored uh, because they could... Uh, code on you and when I say code that means go into arrest or something and code blue you sound a code blue and that means you know someone's in arrest you need to send the uh, emergency response team if you've ever been in a hospital you may hear an announcement code blue ER bed four or you may hear code stroke uh, ER bed two or um, some other part of the hospital and in that case the, the stroke team responds uh, with all due haste to uh, help save the patient. Then they go into ICU or observation and get taken care of until they recover enough. Then you go to high dependency unit, all right? 
and they need hospitalized patients and they need special equipment. And then you have just a regular ward, which are people who are just kind of resting, they're stable, they've, uh, they're recovering from their, their procedure or their injury or whatever, and they're not in a life-threatening situation, all right? So they just need minimum supervision, put them in a bed, y'all chill there for a couple days, and then we'll send you home, all right? So that's the five different tiers of beds, and we're going to be dealing with a couple of those here in this hospital, okay? So there you see now how internal medicine looks. Problem is, there's no internal medicine on this floor, all right? This is the ER clinic. And like we said, if you come in here, doink, there's a wall. Well, reception's over here and the waiting area's over here. Doink, there's, well, there's a door, but that door takes you into the on-call room. I'm not sure why there's an on-call room here. I'm kind of baffled. Because if you look, uh... I'm not even sure there's an on-call room over here at the annex. But there's more ER stuff. All right. And then this is an observation room. Okay. So clearly we know we have people who come in who have suffered traumatic injuries or something. And they're going to be in observation. But now if we go up to the second floor. So clearly we have identified we have a problem here. We have a flow problem. All right. Plus there's two elevators to get to two and three, and they're both down here either side of the reception desk, which bothers me because that puts them at one end of the building as opposed to either being centrally located or they're being, you know, you have to drag ass all the way through to get to the elevator to then go all the way to wherever you're going, then go all the way back down the other end of the building, right? Now, notice there is, like I said, a hematology lab here as well. So we've got four doctor's offices of varying sizes, okay? And then we have a restroom, we have an on-call room, another restroom. Well, these are divided areas, so having a divided area, it makes sense to have two restrooms. However, it doesn't make sense to have two restrooms because the area is divided and it doesn't make sense for it to be divided. Are you picking up what I'm laying down here? So I think we're going to find a way to fix this problem first, this area right here. We don't need two restrooms because this is blocking the way, so we're going to take out this restroom. We're going to take this room and just turn it 90 degrees. I think it will fit in here. And then this opens up and it fixes our problem with efficiency here. Now we have doctors assigned to all four of these rooms. I'm not sure where these on-call docs go though. So let's look over here at the annex. On the first floor, we've got a big ass corridor space and a lounge for the employees and then observation and then some space here that I'm not sure what that serves. Okay, cool. Let's go upstairs to level two. Well, looky here, we have a trauma center and we have another trauma center. Well, how the hell does an ambulance dropping off a patient on a stretcher here or a gurney get its people to the trauma centers because that's where they need to go. Do you see an elevator here? Nope. I see trauma center, trauma center, corridor is the green area, a janitor's closet and a bathroom. There's no elevator. There's no way to get from the arrival area unless you go all the way across over to this elevator, then up, then you got to go all the way around here, come across and go into one of the two. You, you could die in that time. This is clearly going to be something we need to fix. All right. And then let's check level three of the annex. While we're here, this looks like some internal medicine stuff. Let's click on that. And we'll see. They have a janitor closet. They have a restroom. They have uh, the special procedure unit here, which is all the way away from the rest of the unit. And I think their on-call doctors are down on one. And their special procedure units all the way across the hospital upstairs. That don't make no sense. Okay. Are you seeing what I'm saying here? All right. So three we know is a lot of the hospitalization stuff for internal medicine. However, look at this. Who stuck a microbiology lab here with a waiting area? And then I also see radiology. Okay, we got an x-ray room, we got a CAG room, got a, uh, a coffee room. The coffee rooms can be shared. Okay, and when we go back down to two, look here what's on two. We have a CT scanner room, we have a nuclear medicine, MRI, and then we got other stuff over here. 
what the heck is that stuff? Well, we're back to internal medicine. Regular ward, an HDU ward, on-call doctor's room, nurse's station, a bunch of corridor stuff in a janitor closet that's really in an inconvenient place, and another nurse's station. Well, whose nurse's station is that? Not radiology. It's not labs. That's ER. What? Who, who? I mean, seriously, who thought this up? So there's our challenge. Clearly, our ER nurses, okay, you only need ER nurses at the at the reception station, okay? These ER nurses up here need to be over here in the ER area. So this is going to be our ER annex, okay? All right, so we obviously have some things we need to work on with efficiency, getting the departments kind of straightened out and, you know, lumped together. We don't, if we're going to have uh, radiology up here, then all of our radiology should be here, right? And then if we're going to have labs, we should have labs together. Now, we don't have a histology lab. We just have hematology, which is the most used, and microbiology, which is the second most used. Because if you think about the previous episodes when we've done stuff and run the clinic, you send people for blood work all the time. And then you send people for, I don't know, poo samples or, hey, get your toe jam checked or something like that. And then you go down to histology. So hematology is one, microbiology two, histology three. That's kind of how it breaks down. Break it down for me, brother. All right. So speaking of breaking it down, the question is where the heck, I mean, we need to put these people somewhere else, but we don't really have somewhere else to put them. So what I want to look at is, and there's your, your little thing there of where people can go. Uh, I want to find a, ah, there we are. All right, let's find out how big this on-call room is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's ten by six, which is great because by six is the default depth of a room. So if you take this corridor, for example, this is four, four tiles wide, and then you have depth off of that corridor, right? You have the width and the depth of the room. And most of these, one, two, three, four, five, six. See what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this, this building... Our primary building here is 14 tiles wide. No, 16 tiles wide, excuse me. Six, four, and six. So 16 tiles across, all right? So that, if you can keep, keep that in mind, and most of your prefab build uh, rooms have a six to them. Six by four, six by six, eight by six, four by six, 10 by six. So uh, six tiles of depth is important. All right, so for now, because we don't have somewhere else to put these people, unless I just pull something out of my backside and find a place to put them, this whole, th this whole annex is going to have to be redone. Now, copy and or cut and paste is your friend. You only have $100,000 to spend. You don't want to waste your money destroying stuff or building brand new. You want to use what you've got to the best of your ability, okay? So, two restrooms on the first floor. We don't need two restrooms. Second floor. Do we have a restroom on the second floor? I don't see a restroom on the second floor. Where the hell did these patients go to the bathroom? They got to drag ass through the whole hospital or something? I mean, I guess they come all the way over here to go to the bathroom. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here, people? Now, I believe this is on call. So this is internal medicine on call. And this is ER on call. Okay, so we need to get the ER on call docs over to the ER. And in doing so, we need to get the, the trauma rooms down to one, to the first floor. But we also need to get an elevator in here. So there is a lot to do there. There is some space up here on three. And if we can get this um, observation room moved 
or adjust it over. See, we've got these two free tiles over here. I think we can put an elevator in this corner, okay? Because if you look here, there's nothing there but corridor. There's nothing here but corridor. That's just asking for an elevator, all right? Plus, this much space for restrooms and a cleaning closet is inefficient. My my four by six design that's in the uh, prefabs is much more efficient than that. All right. So let's see where we're going to start here. I think we're going to start and we're going to have to run the game as we go because people are wanting to use these toilets. But what I think we're going to do to start with is dezone this. So let them do their thing. Hello, Stephanie. How are you today? Welcome aboard and happy Easter weekend to you. All right, so this guy's checking in here. But when he gets called, he's going to have to drag. See, he just got called. Or someone just got called. They're asking us to drag all the way down, come around here. So we've got to open this up here. All right, so now there's somebody in here. But now everybody's out of the bathrooms. When stuff is in use and it's green, you can't uh, you can't move it. All right, I like to move it, move it, and we can't move it. So what we're going to do here is get rid of the objects in this restroom, and this is going to make us some money. So we're starting with a hundred thousand. All right, and El Chucko. All right, that made us $228. Yay. <laughs> that sucks. All right. We need to get rid of these walls here. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to delete those walls. So we just wasted that money. Okay. Gets rid of that. We're going to get rid of this wall here. And we're going to get rid of this door here. So you click on the door thing and come down here. And this gets rid of doors and windows. Doink. See, so you got to build a wall to put a door in the wall. All right. Now, this is facing into the room. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this. I'm going to try, though. Uh, no, construction, prefab. What I want to do is move a selected area. And we're going to highlight, but see how it's red? That's saying, eh. You can't do that because people are using stuff in the room. Which sucks because that puts us in a pickle. So, what can we do to maybe help get ourselves out of this pickle? One, two, three, four, five. That's only five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. That's five tiles. I, th well... And this is not in wait a minute why is that red why is that red that's white selected area can be moved selection cuts oh it cuts an object in half okay so how that works is the chair is attached to the desk so the desk has the desk is one thing then it has a PC on it. That's the second thing. It has a printer on it. That's the third thing. And this chair is attached to this desk. So it's saying red there, but you can start here and then grab all four things. Okay. Now, what I think I'm going to do is grab this and this will save us money. I think we're going to come over here. Okay. We got crap in the way. So I'm going to right click and cancel that. We're going to get rid of these. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have to get rid of these chairs. Again, I might need them elsewhere. So we're going to go move a selected. We're going to grab these three things. Now, it's dragging the window with us, which is kind of stupid. But we can, we can get rid of that in a second. Uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay. We're going to put that there. Now, it threw a wall section in there on us. Um, we can fix that. That gets rid of it. Okay, cool. All right, now, 
we got a little bit of space here it's not a lot but it's a little and that might allow us to uh, go here copy and move these two desks over there because I'm not all sh totally sure on everything we need just yet so we can rotate this put this here okay now we're going to get rid of that wall section because that's kind of not where I want that. Okay. Now, so we've created this little space right here. There's not much room, but there's at least four tiles. Now, this is uh, ER. And we're going to create an on-call room here. This may be temporary, but it, you know, if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Okay. So there's that. This is the doctor's space. So now we can go back in here and we'll just create a couple of freaking simple walls to close this off. And then we'll put a door and put that door right there. Sure. Okay. Now, it says missing staff. Say so if we click on this all right we're in the build mode but this is an on call room nothing is highlighted which means we have everything we must have in that space all right so that's the simple thing to it now what we might do is move a couple things over like this bookshelf because it would make sense Oh, you know what? In fact, let me plop that there. And then let me do this. Let me see if I can take... A, nope. See, it's wanting to move just to the chair. So we got to go back over here and do this copy thing. And we're going to move the whole computer desk deal right there. And then we can take this and plunk it down in between the two. There. Now the docks got a little bit of space between each other. They ain't all up in each other's stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now if we want to make the room pretty, we could just uh, grab this and it's saying it's facing the right direction. Boom. So now, missing staff. These are our ER docs over here. So let's go over to this part. All right. So we have James Clark, Fraser Jackson, and the night shift is Karen Martin. All right. So James Clark, Fraser Jackson, and Karen Martin. We need to move them over here. So we'll go here and then go to the three dot thing, assign employee. So James Clark, and then here we will assign Karen. Karen, now see how she's kind of grayed out? It's because she's on night shift. And you can see that down below. It says specialist, which she's a five level five doctor. She's 87% in emergency. And then below that, there's a moon and a cloud. That means she's a night shift worker. And then over here, assign employee, Fraser Jackson. So now they've got their new workspace. And now they'll clear out of this, which means then we can do something else with this space entirely because really it doesn't need to be here. All right. We do not need an on call for ER docs that's in the main building when the ER is in the annex. All right. So we have solved part of that problem. And now we're going to be able to clear this out so that people can do what they need to do to get in and out of this area without having to go around the building, check in come back around go here and all that crap okay so is there anything else uh, we want to screw around with here yeah we might take uh, uh, you know what there's a couch there but the well actually let's do this let's put the game in motion so hopefully these folks are going to get up and move their ass to the office because this is what we're going to do we're going to actually on a Boom. Okay, so now they're going to get up. And they should move over to the other side. So now I'm going to grab this couch. They can have a couch in here. That's cool. And let's see what else we got in here that we can take and move. Uh, this little setup right here is not too bad. Let's see if we grab it. 
Now there's parts, there's multiple parts to it, so we're going to use, use the uh, copy function or move. Okay, so it's stacked because there's a, a wall unit. And then if we rotate this, we can put this like this. Okay, and there's even a sink here. So there's a lower cabinet section, then the sink is in the lower cabinet, and then there's an upper cabinet section. Okay. Finally, um, let's put a trash can in here. Boom. Simple. Okay. Bare bones. Doesn't need to be fancy. That takes care of the problem for now, though. And that's going to allow us to then clear all this schmutz out over here. We're going to sell all this stuff off. So let's make sure nobody's sitting in the chairs or anything. I think we're good. All right, so we're going to go in here and get a bunch of money. Well, not a bunch, but enough. Okay? Now, while we're here, pardon me, let's just move this across like this. And then we're going to go delete walls. Delete that wall and delete this wall. And now we have opened up the flow from these doors down here to the to the uh, reception desk. And honestly, I don't feel like there's a real reason for this table or this plant. But I mean, you know, whatever. All right. So there's that kind of figured out. Here's one other thing to this, though. This is a big bathroom setup. Is anybody in there right now? No. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to clear it out. And I'm going to put in my own bathroom design, which may cost a little bit of money. Okay. But that's okay. But the design I'm going to put in, let me take out this door because I think we'll drop the door in with the design. Hello? Click on that. Boom. We're going to go to prefab. Okay. Four by six bathroom and closet. Boom. Okay. That cost $16.79. We just went under $100,000. But now, this makes a lot more sense. Okay. So we're in the ER department. We're going to go assign. And it's already assigned. Okay. So all we need to do is assign a janitor here, and then we'll have somebody who can clean this floor. All right? Now, if we want to see our staff in the department, let's see what we got. So we got some janitors over in emergency. They're in the emergency department. Okay? So we got everybody through here. Blah, 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 blah. John Lee. Okay, he's a night shift guy. I think we're going to move him to day shift. Christopher Gonzalez, I think these guys are all assigned over. Here. And we don't need that. We need somebody over here. So we're going to do day shift and we're going to move. This guy, I think, to here. Now we're going to click on him. Is there anything special? Oh, he's an early bird. He actually wants to be on day shift. He's kind of slow, and he's got a hidden perk. But we've actually now put him on the shift he actually uh, prefers to be on. So that'll be good. He can keep this uh, place all churched up. All right? Now, we have a whole bunch of space in here to work with. This is great. Okay? And why these offices here are odd shapes and sizes, I don't know. But again, that was part of the bad design. We now have a good design. Now, I would say we might could relocate the waiting area over here to get it out of this space because it's right in front of the elevator. And that's not terribly, I'm not too keen on that. Because we're still going to need that connection until we fix this other situation, which is over here. So maybe what we could do, just from a simplicity standpoint of just correcting the problem, let's go in the walls and let's take this wall out here. Okay. I'm going to go into flooring because 
I want the flooring all looking the same. Boom. There's that. And this floor should lead right up to the receptionist desk. Okay. So we'll do that right there. And then we'll do this over here. Do this over here. I mean, at this point, you don't have to do anything fancy like this. We're kind of burning money for no reason. Nobody really cares about the flooring. Okay. That's not important. Uh, the one other thing we could do is change up the wall. That's this color wall design with this kind of deal here. And then we do that. And in here, we'll throw in a tile wall because it's a janitor's closet. And that to me, you know, it kind of makes sense for it to be utilitarian. And then the actual bathroom here. Uh, we will do wall and tile. Switch around this way. Bada bing. Bada boom. And then that's uh, all color matching there. Okay. Swell. Cool. Um, back to this color. And we'll just do that right there. Hello? Oh, it's fine. Nope, not page up, page down. There. Okay. Let's turn this way. We'll do this here. Okay. Now, so our next logistical issue is this waiting area. So I think we're just going to take that. There's waiting area there, right? We're just going to make waiting area over here. That's a lot of waiting area, but it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. And then this waiting area over here, I think we'll just copy and or cut and paste and move the stuff from there to here. So we'll use this right here, grab like this. And I think unfortunately it's gonna screw up our uh, flooring. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Oops, do flooring last. Flooring and walls can wait. All right, so let's grab uh, these. Okay, well, now we don't need all that. So let's just right click and hold on for a second. Let's instead grab, well, let's grab this. And I think we can put that there put that there now remember if you want to change the color on these you can do that just not in this menu you got to be in the build menu and the items if you want to change the color of the chairs just go down here click the new color you want and then put it in place <clears throat> so Grab these. Um, we want to leave a little bit of space here. And we may put like a, a uh, so we want to leave that tile there. So we'll put that there. Nope, don't do that. Turn this, turn that. And what we can do is move the check-in uh, deal over here. Okay, so people can check in there and then they can go sit down. Okay, and so if we rotate this way, it puts this kind of up here. Well, let's click on the room and it'll show us the key information and key pieces we need, which the room now has what it needs. We're gonna put a second info TV there, okay? I don't want to do vending machines. You don't do vending machines in the waiting areas. We could do a water dispenser. And that's pretty straightforward. Uh, I do want a, a wall mounted TV. A trash can. And an escape plan. Alright, let's do this. Let's move this here. Put this here. 
And then next to that, there's a TV on the wall. You can't do it. Well, oh, oh, wait, you can do it? That's blocked by another object. Okay. So let's put that there. Okay. Uh, we want a trash bin next to... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. Well, I'm not an idiot, but uh, yeah, I just did... Whoops, and now, now I'm an idiot. <laughs> now I done messed up. All right. So... Um, hang on a second here. Um, let me do something here real quick. I need to take care of a message I just got here. So I need to do con. Okay. There's that, so that uh, allows me to do that. And then let's go back to this. Okay, cool. Problem solved. Uh, boy, this is a big freaking waiting area. But that's okay all right so we got the TV now I gotta put in the stuff that I just accidentally deleted because I was a doofus there and um, magazines and um, Let's see, a fire alarm that could go on the wall here with a fire extinguisher beneath it. Sure. Uh, where did I see? There it is. WLAN router. There we go. And um, water yeah we'll put that poster there well what we won't worry about that there um, disinfectant dispenser doo -doo -doo. put that there and then we need a water dispenser there we go all right so now I've got the stuff I want there now let's rotate this way and then we can take the rest of these seats and kind of reposition them I don't really want them facing each other. Do there, and then I, if I do, there we go. I can do it this way. Okay, cool. All right, and there, and then we can put like fancy table. And then we can get rid of this fancy table. Cool. Okay, so now, for the most part, actually, we have. Now we have. So we have now opened up this space here. So what we'll do is go into uh, management. We're going to take out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops, I screwed that up. Uh, reception. Dang it. Okay, that fixes that. Now, I may have to go back and redo. Because I hit the wrong thing, I want to take out that space. All right, so let me check the reception people, and we're going to have to reassign them. Nope. All right, so shoot. Back to game. Who is this? Barbara Lewis. And who is this? Linda Cole. All right, so we got them down here. So now we can go into this, and we know we need to do this, and do Barbara Lewis, and then do this, and do Linda Cole. All right, now they're taken care of. Okay, so 
what we can do now is look to label this area as corridors. And if we drag from the existing area, okay, we'll just drag this out like this, drag this over like this. Not the most efficient design, but we'll work with it. There's that. And then we're actually going to drag this across like that. I'm trying to actually incorporate them all into one big area. So you just start within the big area that you want to work with and then drag into the area you want to incorporate. So like here, we start here, go to here, boom, done. Now, the problem is this is a waiting area for this hematology lab. And I don't like that hematology lab being there because labs should be together and labs. Well, they're kind of up on three, I think. All right. So, but we're focused here right now. So we have four doctors, boom, boom, boom. And now they can see patients. And if they need to go to the labs, well, labs is right here. All right. Is there a seat for people to put their butt in? There does not appear to be. So we will just put a bench in there. So there's a waiting area. Click on it. It needs a bench anyway. So we'll just rotate this and plunk it down. We'll put a couple, oops, shoot, I just blocked that poster. That's okay, that's an easy fix. Doink, doink, problem solved. Cool. Did I fire everyone to start rebuilding? No, 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 no. Actually, no, no, that's okay. Your company and personal life is more important than, than uh, watching this. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're fixing problems, right? So uh, what we had uh, was we had a, an obstruction here. There was a restroom here, and we had a doctor's on-call office here, which prohibited people from coming in these doors and getting to the check-in desks. They had to go all the way around, check in, go into the waiting room space, which was right in front of this elevator, and then they had to come back outside, come around the building to go in to see their doctor. Now, on-call doctors for the ER need to be near the ER. Well, so we move them over here. All right. And that's going to be our next big project. Because we have these rooms out of sequence. But for now, the ER clinic, all four doctor's offices have access. We have a new waiting room over here. We have a single restroom here. Plus, we put in a janitor's closet and have assigned one of the janitors which was on the night shift, who prefers to be on the day shift. So now he's on the day shift and he'll be taking care of business during the day. And then we have our, our nurse's station over here. This is reception where they check in. They, well, they can check in here or they can check in here. The difference being if a patient checks in here, you don't get any preliminary information out of them. If they come down and they see the nurse, the nurse can get an idea of what their symptoms are and start working towards a treatment regimen. Sometimes to the point of, oh, okay, you've got X. Here's what we need to do. And by the time they go in to see the doctor, bada bing, bada boom, they're done and they're out of your hair. Simple. All right. So we've accomplished so far moving the ER doctor's on-call room over to the ER annex. We have opened up the obstruction so patient flow then is directly from the doors straight to the waiting area where they can check in or to the reception desk. Okay. Uh, we've eliminated a redundant restroom because this was divided into two separate basic buildings by a wall right here. And we've cleared the obstructions in front of this elevator to get to these doors because these doors for now are the path that if an ambulance drops off a patient here, they have to be brought through these doors, through these doors, across the sidewalk, over to this elevator to go to level two. Then they have to go around this janitor's closet, across the bridge, and into one of these two trauma rooms. That's our next project, okay, is to fix this trauma room situation. Now, I'm trying to see where... We can change up 
level two because we're going to need to move something. So these are our in, uh, internal medicine department. This is our internal medicine department uh, on call room. And then we've got these two simple wards here with the HDU ward and then the general ward. We don't have a Montgomery ward though, all right? And the problem is I need to, mm, wait a minute, maybe I have a solution. We don't need all this here. We certainly don't need all this bathroom here. There's no bathroom in the ER space though, but we can fix that. That's, that's pretty easily corrected. And part of that is the fact that they have this huge lounge down here that they don't need. So all the changes we made so far, because we've gotten money back from selling stuff, uh, we're still, we haven't spent $5,000 yet of our original $100,000 budget. So we're doing pretty good so far in the way we've set things up. You know something? I don't like this being here. I think I'll just move it there. In fact, I don't like that there. I'll move this here and move it there. Cool. Now, you actually give these people a little more space here, too, because, you know, you don't want people coughing and hacking on you. So that works out. Okay, cool. But I think we're going to reorganize this really to where that's the end of the room right there. Because it would make sense if we flip these two sets of chairs around and move these two back to back against them and then just put the wall here, we'd have more room for something down here. But we'll come back to that. I still want to move the hematology lab. It's convenient being here. Um, but how big microbiology is huge. It, microbiology doesn't need to be that here and hematology down there. And radiology doesn't need to be scattered among two floors. All right. But let's look at that. For now, those are just inconveniences. They're not major issues. The major issue from my perspective, from a medical standpoint, is people dying because they're coming off an ambulance on a gurney and they have to go five miles to get to the elevator upstairs and then into the trauma room. We need the trauma rooms here on one, all right? That's what we need. So the question is, if we click here, what happens if we take out that table? Nothing. What happens if we take out this table? Nothing. What happens if we take out this water cooler? Is it a water cooler? Is it a water heater? Nothing. So nothing is showing up highlighted here, which means the room is still equipped properly. So now, let's rotate and get a different view of the room here. So there's a changing room for staff, but it doesn't have a toilet. So there's no bathroom on this floor. That just seems stupid in and of itself, right? Now, do you have to have a sink in your deal? Well, there is a sink here. So maybe we can put creature comforts back in at a later time and date, right? But right now, we don't need creature comforts right there. We need creature comforts out of the way for our staff because we need our patients to be able to get in here and get treated as quickly as possible. Now, the other issue is for the annex, this is the corner where our elevator is going to go because we got space here on two we got space here on three all right so our first step is we got to get this moved observation i think needs to be on two the this space if anything is where the trauma rooms need to be so we can put staff over here trauma rooms over here and then we can move and put the observation rooms up here on two we also don't need this big ass bathroom. There's so much, it's so inefficient. And this big ass cleaning closet. All right, both of those are totally inefficient. So let's see here. What could we do here to make this work better for us? I kind of want all of this facing outward this way towards the middle. 
we know we're going to lose four tiles over here when we put in the elevator. So that's going to narrow this up to how many tiles? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten tiles. So that's only going to leave us six tiles to work with over here by putting that elevator in here. So we may be better off having all the trauma rooms over here. So you come in, you hook a right, you go into the trauma rooms. And we could put the nurse's room, nurse's station here, and the on-call doctor station here-ish. We could maybe maintain a little bit of a waiting space and then maybe a restroom area. But the restroom doesn't need to be, I mean, if you come in and hook around the nurse's station, that to me isn't a big deal. You don't have to come in and go immediate right. Or we could just put the nurse's station in the middle, right? So there's several things we could do here. What, I, what I'm still trying to avoid doing is outright selling all this crap because then we're just gonna have to buy it back. I don't like the fact these are the old school beds, but I. I guess I can live with it. The old school beds with the rails. So, Q, you said, you were saying the other day you kind of like this game, huh? All right. So, I don't think we need this. And when you hear that ping, look, $95,733. $95, ping. We just got back about $50 there. Cool. Well, I'm glad you like it. I do too. It's freaking cool. So, what do we need to do? Oh, I'm in bulldozer mode. All right, that got, up, got rid of all that. Now, see, they want a bookshelf or a bookcase or medicinal shelf. They want something in this space. Well, sorry, but I kind of don't care what you want right now because I got to renovate. We're going to take out that wall and that wall. All right. Now, um, because if we wanted to put like a book, a bookcase in here, I'll show you how simple this would be. First off, let's get rid of this window. So we go down here, click on this, get rid of the window. See how there's a cabinet up there? Now, if we hit escape and we click in the room again, it's going to take us back to the build menu and say, this is what you need. Now notice bookshelf took out bookcase, bookshelf, and medicinal shelf. They just want a locker in here somewhere. You know what? I have an app for that too. See that fancy plant? We can get rid of that fancy plant and we'll be good to go. So let's go to doors and windows because it wouldn't make sense to put a locker in front of a window. All right, that's gone. Ching. Click on this. Locker. And now the room is back to being complete. So if I wanted to just redo this room and just get rid of all this excess space over here, we've effectively done that, all right? And if you look at it from this perspective, we could build the wall across this area right here, and this is good to go, all right? So then the employees have their space they want. Now, then we have the, the on-call doctor room. Well, let's do this. Let's go into our prefabs. Go into move a selected area or room. Highlight that whole area. Oh, hell. There's a problem. People are using space right now. That sucks. Um, all right. So our options there are maybe limited, maybe not. What we could do is temporarily reassign James Clark to another station. Oh wait, these are um, let's see how many people. This is the uh, internal medicine. Alright, there's a desk we could use. Oh, but he's not in the department. Crap. It means I have to change departments on him. All right, let's just do this, all right? We're going to make this easier. We're going to draw in, well, first off, let's go back to the ER. And we're going to draw in on-call room. 
here. Okay, so there's that. Now it says missing equipment, missing staff. Okay, so the missing equipment is going to be the desks. And what we'll do here is in the build menu, we'll put a wall between these two rooms. And we, we want to give the doctors their own pr private space. So we click on this and you can see it's going to tell you everything you need in that room. All right. So we're going to put in a couple of office desks. Uh, we'll do. Um, let's maybe have them face this way one and see this is this has a little more depth to it so hmm. now I want to do this take this rotate it this way and then we'll put another office desk here okay and then in between, we'll put a, basically, all the stuff that we've got here. So we'll do a, and then what we can do is put a coffee table and a TV for the docks, okay? Now there's a there is not a vending machine in here, but there is room for vending machines. So let's see, da, 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 vending machines are not included here. So we need office chairs. The doctors, of course, uh, you don't get fancy office chairs. Put your ass in that seat. Do your job. Uh, the PCs are in use, so we'll put those in. So yeah, that costs us a little bit of money, but now we've established a new workstation. All right now. What if I want to move this printer? If I push the control key, see how the printer's highlighted? Now I can move the printer. And over here, this this stack of papers, that counts as a printer. Boom. So now we were able to move those. Now, so this is the ER doc office. Problem is we don't have a doorway into it yet. We're going to fix that in just a second. Um, in fact, let's just fix that right now. And I'll move it when uh, in a minute. Now, so now we need James Cook and the people who are over here. Click on this, James Clark, excuse me, and then Fraser Jackson. And then here is going to be the overnight lady, which is Karen Martin. All right. So now, whoops, not that. Back to game. Now, boom. Now, here's the docs. They're going to go into their new office. Okay. So we click on the office. There's nothing missing. Okay. It has everything they need. Um, I would say that maybe we could put, I mean, it, at this point, it's all decoration stuff. Right? Does that make sense? It's all decorations. I mean, we could put their, uh, let's see. Foo, foo stuff like their uh, diploma, right? And then we can put another one over here, I think. You can't put it where you can't get to it. See the chairs in the way? So it would have to go here, right? And so that's pretty straightforward. Now, we don't have this section of stuff so we're going to go back into here and do this move a selected thing we're going to grab this and plunk it right there so now we've got the uh everything with the trash can i need to rush can okay put a trash can there and finally water dispenser there all right 
So now the docs have access into this. Let me turn this off. Nobody's in the office, which means now we're actually coming in with the full on bulldozer, which is going to bulldoze the objects and the walls. Except those computers are still showing to be in use. But now they won't be because the doc's going to go check in over there and we're going to be able to get rid of them. See, he used the water deal. Boom. All right, that problem is solved. Hooray and huzzah. We have gotten rid of that issue. Now all that's out of the way. Okay. Now we come here. We tap that. That clears that space up. So now we have a couple of options of things to do. Excuse me. But the key is we're, we're, we're working on making space to accommodate, um, you know, what we need here. I, we may just leave that door there. Let the docs just come out this way. You know, they get paged. Boom, boom. They're out. They're good. So for now, I think that's going to be okay. What I think we need to do now is make the inertia station right here. All right. So to do that, let's rotate this way. So I can see it. All right. So we will click on this and zone it for the nurse's station. Now we're going to do one more square though. We're going to do that. So five by five. Okay. Now we click on it and it comes up with all the crap we need. The one trick thing to this, which is kind of stupid, is you got to have an office desk in the space. Now you'll see you also have to have stretchers, wheelchairs, um, but otherwise, it's kind of simplified. Then there's a bunch of optional stuff. You want to make it look pretty. So how do we set this up? Well, that's a good question. And we got a couple of options. But if we go here, nope, not there, here, here, here. There's reception desk stuff. Okay. So we could put this like right here at the, at the window. And then we can put like this here and this here. But that's actually going to take more spaces than I want. Let me move that here. Put the corner piece in here. And that's because I have a plan. We're going to put our stretcher right there. We could put the stretcher right here by the wall, but I kind of want to create a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a barricade. Does that make sense? Now, we need the computer, okay? So we can just doot, 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 and then we kind of joggle it around a little bit. Okay, there's that. And then we need uh, office chair. Let me rotate here again. And, hello, hello, oh, well, no, don't rotate that. Rotate the chair, stupid. There you go. Boom. Then we're going to need a printer. Although technically it doesn't say we need a printer. Okay. Well, we're going to put a printer in there anyway. Uh, printers are here, I think. Office chairs. Nope, they're in the equipment. So there's the paper holder, which counts as a printer. It's a more efficient alternative. Um... You have laptops. Eh. You just have lots of little options here. We're going to do this printer here. Boom. That takes care of that. Now we have all this space back here. We're going to get rid of these two windows. Okay. That squares that away. And then we got to go back to the space and we need to put in another desk. So let me think of where and how we want to do this. Um, this actually may work. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Office chair right there. Okay. So now we have two nurses stations in the uh, in the deal. So now we've narrowed down what we've got to have. 
We need saw. We need a, a equipment cabinet. Uh, we got a deal in the corner. We got space in the corner there that's going to be kind of wasted, or is it? Hmm. Let's do an equipment cabinet. Okay. Now there's a couple ways we could do this, but we're going to do a hand sanitizing station, so that'll be fine. Meal tray, boom. Wheelchair, boom. Okay, knocking out our requirements. Now we could move this stretcher over here, but now we've got everything we need because there's nothing that's lit up. Okay. Now there's some cool little stuff here. You could do a scrub shelf. Uh, you could do a sink. Uh, that would be okay. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Let's do cabinets with doors. Yeah. Okay. I have a plan here. Cabinets with doors because you got to access the sink underneath. Okay. And then we'll do a cabinet with doors above. But actually, we're going to make that a scrub shelf wall, like that. There is a warming cabinet we'll do that for warm blankets and oh there's wall mounted corner shelf and then there's a, a just a corner cabinet but we've got that this deal sitting there uh there was one other thing i think i was going to put there what was it oh oh let's move that <laughs> yeah yeah here's what we're putting here uh, now we got to go to equipment. Defibrillator. That's a crash cart. Cool. All right. So now we got a nice little uh, fully stocked and functional nurse's station here in the ER. Okay. So now we just have to deal with this area over here. All right. And we can we can still make this a little waiting area. We can make it a little nicer than it is because you got all this uh, these foo foo deals here, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, in fact, let's move this trash can over here. Let's just get it out of the way. We're gonna move one of these here, and then we're gonna put in a disinfectant dispenser above it. Nice. We don't have a, we don't have that set up here though. Hmm. Oh, that's not accessible there. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. So that's now screws up the accessibility to this. We just turned that that way, and now it all works. And now. We can do uh, the same thing. Move this here. Put in a disinfectant dispenser above it. Boom. Looks even better. Looks more realistic. You got wheelchair accessible because it's only accessible from the handle side. Right? Just like this cart is only accessible from the handle side. And then the uh, stretcher is only accessible in a, from a certain direction. Okay? So that's our dressed out nurse's station. Beauty. I like it. Now, we'll get our nurses assigned to it here in just a minute. Notice we still have spent less than $10,000 of our budget because we're being careful and we're utilizing what we've already got. Uh, that's not facing that way. That's facing this way. And damn it, it doesn't say it's mm, but for brains. Okay, I fixed it. Okay. All right, so now the challenge part. Okay, the challenge is uh, we got to do the flippy do switcheroo. Now, part of that is all this crap up here is crap. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to change it up by getting rid of all this bathroom stuff. We're going to bulldoze all this shite right here. I didn't take the walls out. All right, whatever. And then we're going to take out all of this stuff here. 
okay now it's saying those are used right now and so we can fix that by there's a third janitor we're actually going to build in a new janitor closet here we're going to use my prefab for that so we're going to go to prefabs four by six bathroom and closet rotate 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 okay and then boom now christopher gonzalez has no workspace and christopher clark has no workspace well i got news for you clowns you do okay i'm gonna show you all right oh damn it i screwed that up shoot i missed the target hmm Is there any way I can undo that action? I don't think I can. Okay. All right. We'll fix it here. What I got to do is get this guy off of this deal here. But what, what we need is to go in here and assign Christopher Gonzalez. And then over here, assign. Boom. So now they're assigned. Okay. And with that done, now I should be able to get rid of this other schmutz and move this into the place. Well, I should be able to. That is not. So let me get, uh, let's run it forward here and see where these guys are. Okay, here he comes. Here they go. Okay, good. Now that should make this free. This cart should be free. It's showing it's in use, though, and that's what's throwing me for a loop here. Damn it. Um, good. Okay. That got it. All right. Now we got to get these people. Employee has no roles allowed. Trauma center. There we go. Okay, so now he's good. All right, full stop. All right, let's get this fixed. This cluster F I caused. All right, so now we're just going to go back into building. And we're going to grab this section here, which is currently in use. <sighs> Damn it, because I can't move it. So maybe then I can do this. Okay, good. That should fix it. Should be in the operative word. Yes. All right. So basically what we did was we took him off day shift just temporarily. Okay, there. That's where that should be. Now, let me get him reassigned and then I can fart around with fixing this part I messed up. All right, so now back to this. Come on. Oh, I signed him the night. He shouldn't be on the night shift. He should be day shift. He's on the night shift. There we go. There. Now they're both assigned back to it. And then this one over here should be this guy. And yeah, he's a day shift guy, so then he'll be happy. He's doing his deal. And then we go over here, go back upstairs, click on this guy. He's on day shift. He's nothing special there. 
and this guy, he's on night shift. He's slow and a germaphobe. Whatever. Just clean the stuff, okay? All right. So now all I need to do is get rid of this hinky part that I screwed up. Uh, let me see. I think that's under foundation. What just happened? Oh, I know what. It, it got rid of it. Okay, it just didn't get rid of the walls, which is weird. Yeah, that's weird. Should have gotten rid of everything. But that's okay. It's fixed. Okay, now I just got to go fix the... Uh, turn the walls on. What is this? This is like an orangish brick. Which is like that, but kind of not. It's like uh, no, it's like this, but orange. That's not it either. Um, what the hell is this wall? Oh, you know what? Here's how you figure it out. You just do this. Boom. That's how you do it. Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Problem solved. Sweet. Okay, cool. All right, so now we have now downsized our bathroom issue here let's get rid of those walls bulldoze walls and objects bulldoze thank you okay so now we're gonna go to this and do that okay that gets rid of that so now we got a nice big open space you know what we can do with that nice big open space boys and girls we can move observation there, so then we can move trauma downstairs, and we can get our elevator in place. So, that's the plan, okay? Um, in fact, I almost want to, I'm thinking I'm going to, no, observation is going to be all along this space here, and we're going to do a nurse's station down here and whatever. Now, it kind of sucks that people in working in the ER have to go upstairs to go to the bathroom. I may be able to fix that. I may be able to squeeze something in the, to square that away. All right. Plus, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles by one, two, three, four, five, six. We may be able to work with and make this work much better. Okay. But for now, what we need to do is move the observation room stuff up here. Oh, damn it. There's someone in the bed. Well, you know what? That's okay. I can move. So we have a patient. Is someone still in the bed? Someone's still assigned to the bed. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I do not want to sell all this stuff. Let me get the most expensive elements of it. So if we go in here, operating table, how much does that cost? $5,000. <laughs> we want to hold on to the operating table. Faux show. Okay. And this piece of equipment here, medical light, that's, okay, that's a lot. Mobile workstation, 800, yeah, yeah. So some of this stuff is really... Anesthesia station. Okay, there's a defibrillator on the wall. Is this the anesthesia station? It is. Okay, very good. We want to keep that. We'll move all this. Uh, we'll move the stretcher. Let's put that over here in the hallway. And... Okay, cool. Let's just move crap around. That'll save us the money. Money! That's attached to the ceiling. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's rotate that and stick that against the wall over here. Stick you against the wall there. Stick you against the wall there. And you can come over here like that. And you can get parked right there. All right. We're about to have this squared away, or at least the space emptied out. So then I can do something else with it. Okay, let's push this here and put this here. All right, cool. And the poster, because posters are important. We'll put that there. Now, when the poster's yellow, that means nobody can actually read it. Because patients will walk up and they'll read the posters, and it makes them feel more informed. All right? So now, we'll go to the walls. They're in the walls. Take the walls out. Take the walls out. Okay? Cool. Now, um, the other thing we can do nope, is that do this and do that and then we can do this too okay swell now what we need is an observation room now the question is how are we going to set this observation room up well here's an observation room right here hmm what's his what's this hospitalized transported to examination so he'll be coming back here he's going to observation He's got pain, swelling, redness, and breathing problems with one hidden symptom. Dr. Clark's checking him out. He may have broken ribs or a chest contusion. Those are the two most likely issues. Mm, they could do a sonography. Well, they need, yeah, I was going to say they're going to x ray his chest. Okay, that makes sense. We'll go x ray him. All right, so with that said, I think what we can do, uh, do I have an observation room prefab? I don't think I do. CT, double x-ray, double ward, MRI, tra trauma room. Okay, now the trauma room is our setup. See, this is, this is my trauma room setup. And this is what we'll probably do, look to do downstairs, okay? It doesn't want to do this because there's stuff on the walls and the windows, but you can see there how it looks. All right, that's a prefab. And what I could do is just drop it here, although I have to, again, move stuff, move the windows and crap. Let me get rid of them. Okay, cool. Now that should allow us to do Five by six trauma room is just a more efficient design. Um, uh oh. Okay, now I've got I've got that. See, so they got a trauma center here, but their trauma center is six by six. See. Now, let's look at their observation room. Oh, oi, hey, 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 hey. Oh, let's get it in the space. All right, we need it there. So we just gotta move some of that schmutz. And, okay. But, if you look. Huh, I wonder if that's supposed to be the on-call space for the doctor or the nurse station. That's got, th I think it's got four beds total. All right, so we need to move this stuff again. You know what? Screw you, hippie. Let's go away. Okay, now, here's an eight by six observation room. Whoop, what just happened? Hit the wrong button. All right, there. See, that's kind of what we need. I like it. That's what they've built. That's what's downstairs, and that's what that's what they've built. And what we need to do is get that guy out of there and get him moved up here. So this is going to cost us some money, though. Let me see how much this is going to cost. $12,000. We have the money for it, though, and this is going to facilitate taking care of other stuff. Plus... 
if I want to expand the room, and I kind of do, I like the idea of having three to four beds, we can actually push them closer together. And then we could expand this to where it will actually handle four, um, four beds. It is, it's not bad. I have, where's my HDU double HDU there. That's a four by three. Recovery ward. CT double ward. That's not what I want either. That's not the droids I'm looking for. Four by four restroom. Four by six single ward. Four by three. Wow, that's really big. That's kind of what I want. We just got to put more equipment in the room to make it a um, observation ward. But this gets us going that direction because it's got a lot of the pre of the required equipment and it leaves space down at the end of the hall here see one two three four tiles which works pretty good and switching uh oh, it's not we're, we're doing observation not hdu um come down here and look and see what we got so we got the monitors we got lights i think we just have to add lights oxygen bottle possibly uh this equipment here uh, maybe a, a a station and we've got room to add that to that design because again this over here, in fact, let me get these windows out of the way as well. That's where the elevator is going to go. We've got room to actually make this bigger out to here. Now, back to the prefab. 4x12 recovery ward. Hello? Hello? It was doing this to me last night. The game locked up for some reason. And again, we're on a beta version here, beta 41. So, um, there we go. All right, so now if we put this here, but yeah, 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 nope, 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 just just put it there, just put it, just, just put it. That cost a lot of money, $22,000. Now, here's the thing. We go here, it's not zoned. Observation room, okay? And we're gonna actually expand the space to include that. It says we're missing equipment and that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So what we're going to do is take out this wall and we're going to scoot that wall to here. Okay. Nope. Now we're in take, take out wall mode. Now we need to put in walls. Okay. Now. We need to put in doors. So we'll put in a double door here, like that. Cool. Okay. So now we're going to take the crash cart, move it back. Take the blanket warmer, move it back. Actually, put it next to the crash cart. Okay. So now all we need to do, rotate, rotate, is click here. 
and see all the stuff we need. Part of it's medical lights. Okay. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And there it goes. We're actually make them blue. We actually have one right here. We could use, but we're not going to use it. We'll use. But now, once you actually put in one medical light, you're done. You're set. That's all you need. Okay. Mobile equipment cabinet. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. You can put that kind of right here. Sure. We'll put a biohazard trash bin. Wait. Oh, no, we deleted it. Okay. We're going to put this biohazard trash bin. And then we're going to put the disinfectant dispenser right above it. Boom. CRP scan, you got to put on like an equipment table. So we'll just put an equipment table there. CRP scan on top. Done. Mobile workstation. Easy peasy. We'll put, I don't want them red, I want them blue. One there. We've actually got an uh, extra right here. We could just grab that. We're going to change the color. Save the money. Money. What else do we need? We need an audio meter. Chart board. Boom. We can't put it there. We could put it here. Okay. And the audio meter needs to go on top of an equipment table as well. And that now is ready to go. That is now our new observation room. That's how you do that. Okay. So now you can see the, the, the floor is kind of goofy. Let's fix the flooring. And we'll go to say like just a, you know, simple, straightforward tile floor. Actually, we'll go with this, I think. Yep, there we go. And that's a laminate. So but notice there's a little bit of privacy between each of the beds. There's a window, there's sensors, and there's all kinds of sensor crap you can put in here. Okay. Um, if you look, wait, there's two different kinds of lights you can put over the bed. But you have a life monitor, you have a life monitor, and you have a life monitor advanced. I mean, look, it's fancy as hell. But look, it's $2,000, $15.99, and this one's $15.99. So, you know. We got it covered. All right. Crash cart. We got everything we need in this space. It's good to go. The only thing we didn't put in here uh, is a. Oh, you know what? And we don't actually we can get rid of this. <laughs> Nat, where'd you come from? Uh, let me see here. I can get rid of that one because we actually have two of them in the room already. And this. I can put, I think, well, it could go right there. We got two waste baskets in the room already, so we'll move this here. Now we're going to put in a desk. Like we saw in the uh, prefab setup. Wait, I'm going to put in a desk, I say. I'm going to put in a desk, I say. Where the hell are the desks? Office desk. It's under O for O. I should have looked for office desk. And it's not there. Maybe it's down here. Paper holder. Am I having a senior moment here? What the hell? There's office desk right there. Weird. Okay. So we have that there. Then we need to put a chair in. Okay. And then we're going to put a computer on it because then it becomes a workstation for somebody. that there 
and we could just do a PC. We'll do this PC there. Sweet. Now we're cooking. I want to change the walls up real quick. Go to the walls that look like they have the bumpers on them, so you slam a you know gurney into it. It doesn't ding it up or anything. And then let's rotate this way. The walls that way. We'll do that way. We'll do this way. And we'll do this way. Oh, hello, hello, hello. That way. Cool. Thank you. All right. Oh, we need to change these door colors here. Let me think here. What did I do there? Well, that changed the door color. All right, cool. So then that leaves. Um, there's some fun stuff you can do with like your floor with your floor tiling, like this stuff here, or this here, where you can kind of create mosaics and designs where it looks like, oh, okay, we go from here to there, or there to here. That was stupid. It went, I see it. It went the wrong way as far as relative to where I am. Uh, and then that's mostly there. Okay. Now, see how this says corridor here, and this is ER space, right? So all we need to do is go to corridor. Boom. Creates one big corridor space. So now we have one more thing to do up here, and that's going to be to put like a nurse's station in here and then we're going to move that all downstairs so what I want to do is go down here go to this I want to move this guy and so what I think we're going to try to do here is dezone this space And then this space up here, somebody should, he should get assigned to another bed. Now what we can do, all right, he's, he's actually covered. Now they're going into observation, ugh, and they're unescorted. I'm not a fan of that. Can I ditch this yet? Oh, Jesus. Now we got two people in beds that... Son of a bitch. I know this is a bunch of stuff. We'll get, we'll get the money back for it then. Okay. <laughs> Dude... You, you, you can go back to that bed, but there ain't going to be nobody there. Okay? So, all right. That takes care of that problem. That moves us into the next stage of renovation. Take out that wall. Take out that wall. We still got to get this guy reassigned to the bed upstairs. It should automatically reassign him to one of them. Okay? And see, so there's a nurse going through and transporting the patient okay that's fine good okay so now trauma center well first we gotta get this bed out of the way so we can put the damn elevator in there <laughs> that's our one major outstanding issue now otherwise let's look at trauma center one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. Nine times, Mrs. Bueller, because this is glass wall. So really, we could just go eight wide, but we could go nine. The doors slide open, and it's two tiles wide. Three, four.
Okay, this would be the trauma center. Okay. And now what we do is go up here and we just start moving that equipment in. This is all this equipment we got sitting up here. We just start moving that stuff in. Okay. So it'll tell you if you've got space for it or not. Okay. A lot of this stuff, you just have to have it in the room. Now this needs to go here. Oh, at the top end. Can be placed here. Connected. The blue indicates it's connected, so it's good to go. Okay? All right. So now, back upstairs. So a lot of this is Willy Foo Foo stuff. It's not necessary. Or you can just have one thing in the room, and it's done. It's taken care of, okay? So, like, we're going to move this down. Okay, and we're going to rotate it. Now, see, we got space there. I think we got room for three, but I think we're just going to do two. So we'll do two. Okay. And then we come back up here. Oh, nope, not that. The anesthesiology deal. Boink. Boink. That's done. Okay. I see we click on this. It's got all this other crap we've got to have at some place at some point in this room. So we're going to, you know, take this, move it down. And you don't want stuff turning yellow because then that's that's bad. Uh, crash cart would be good. I love, I love having the crash cart. This needs to go. Let's put that right there between the two beds. Okay. Chart board. Those can go on the walls on either side. Like there and there. Okay. Sanitary equipment you don't need. Scrubbing sink, that's kind of fancy. All right, we're going to have, um, and we've got more cabinetry to move. There is a fancy sink, or there is a sink here. And then we got scrub stuff to move. Uh, let's get this piece down there. Again, it's not showing it on the board because there's already one in the space. That makes sense? But for detail's sake, you know, you want to have everything match up all right so now we've about got this squared away and see there's tons of space in there uh so we'll actually probably be able to put these like this that and then we can just start hauling stuff down there see what i'm saying put that there we don't need department of redundancy department stuff uh here's this little on the wall defibrillator. Oh, there's no wall there, I guess. Did I not put a wall in? I thought I put a wall in. I did not put a wall in. Well, what the hell? Okay, and then we need to put doors in. Uh, double door with windows. We'll put it there. That should be plenty of room out of the... Oh, you know what? Actually, let's put it like this. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, beauty! Then they, they come in, zoom, right through the door. 
And then we got all this space along this wall to put other schmutz. All right. So we got like a stretcher. We need one of those. Let's throw that in here. Let me rotate it. Put it right there. Good enough. Uh, we got all this other crap. Uh, we got this thing. Oh, we already put that down here. So we already got one in the room. I don't think we need a second one. <laughs> There's a clock on the wall. Okay, so they can they know when to pronounce someone dead. Schmutz. That's right. We don't like schmutz. All right. Uh, sink and sanitation station. Okay, we can do that, say, here. And then we got the we're special. Actually, I want to do the sanitation station over top of that. Bada bing, bada boom. And then, then, this go here I like having that over top of that all right I think we've about got this hammered out I don't think we need this what's this poster digestion I don't think we need to worry about that uh, here's another defibrillator. We've got a defibrillator in the observation room on the crash cart. This one's an on the wall defibrillator. Let's get some gauge back for that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That or that. Um, again, another wall defibrillator. I mean, I guess we could have one for giggles giggles put that there put that there um, put a where is it D D D D D disinfectant dispenser above that and then we can put a poster for oh an escape plan post uh, escape plan always good One, two, three, one, two, three, four. What we need is a poster on infections. Boom. That always goes next to your sanitary, your disinfectant station stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boom. We're about to have this squared away. Boom. Goodbye. That space is now available. We have the same capacity we did previously. It still has a missing equipment. Defibrillator on the wall. I thought I put... I thought I did the crash cart. Oh, well, you know what? We have a convenient defibrillator sitting right here waiting to be put on the wall. And this looks like a good spot. Boom. All right. Square table. Sure. And not sure why, but okay, we have a square table in the room. Uh, okay. Is there some... This thing is sitting right there. Oxygen tank would be kind of cool to have. We can put that right there, I think. Let me see how this rotates. Um, how about here? That'll do, pig. All right, now we're going to do the privacy screen thing. I like this. If you do it right, you can make it look kind of cool. 
problem is we need this somewhere else, I think. And I'm actually going to just put a... That eliminates uh, access to the stupid that and the stupid that. Okay, and then we'll just actually do this. So we'll do just a simple... kind of partial there we go so I just create some privacy between the two sides and then if you want to do like a you know, screen there's a dressing screen old school kind of looking thing but the privacy screen looks much better and here you can do this kind of cool um, so there we go all right, that's in that's in effect. That's good to go. Rex in effect. Um, we're gonna put in just uh, just tile. Okay, and then here. All right, that actually went the right direction. That's sweet. Okay, that flows through like that. Means we need this right here. Flow through like that. Flow through like that. Okay. Uh, we still need the walls like this here and here. And we still got sixty-five thousand dollars, which is cool. Meanwhile, we got our jazzy music going. We have this section of wall here. That's done. And I think we're set. I think this takes care of our problem. Now, we still need an observation station for the nurses up here. <clears throat> Let me see if this is going to show up as a workstation. It's not. It's just for looks. Okay. So then we need a, a nurse station here. We don't need a big nurse station. What we need is... Oh, no. They got a coffee room downstairs. The hell with them. So let's just drop in a desk, office chair, PC, uh, stretcher, can go right there. Uh, that there. And we have about got that squared away. There's a meal tray. A wheelchair. Go over here. We could put a second station in here. Well, let me, oops. an office chair there yep okay that covers all that uh, we can put a warming cabinet in here um,
Cool. There we go. Now, so now, our on-call nurses... call nurses hey q oh stephanie's back on hello hooray uh okay so our on-call nurses for the er is who we need to track down now all right and here they are all the hell the way over here where's the er all the way the hell over here all right so let's see who's on days and who's on nights so we got two on days and two on nights um, we may need to add another one. Who is this? Jane Moore. She's an FNG. And Carol Smith is an FNG. That's kind of dumb. Uh, Frank is, a re is at least an RN. Does he want to work at night? He's a hard worker. Fresh parent. Uh-oh. Moves much faster. Patricia, I think, needs... Oh, she's an intern as well. Patient care is at 21%. Where was Frank? He's at 26%. 0%. 15%. Okay, Jane could go to night shift. I want to bring either Frank... He can do medical surgery. Trauma stabilization... Patient transfers. I feel like I want to put Frank over here and move him to the day shift. So we do this and bring Frank in. Then we have night shift Nellie, which is Patricia. She could be downstairs at night wait she's a new parent right she needs to be here at, on day shift too I feel like okay so she can come in here now our night shift nurse now Barbara's a registered nurse she's a fresh parent damn okay that bollocks up that situation a little bit Frank may have to go back to night shift yep so so Jane put Jane here and then down here we've got Patricia Okay, and then we need, who's the other, Linda. She's a receptionist, but she's 41% on patient care. Role can't be enabled at this workspace. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, good. Now she's got that. Okay, have we assigned her to anything? All right, so there's a day and a night worker here. She is... Why did we move... Uh, hmm. Okay. We're going to let we're going to let this slide for now. Frank, okay. So that means we don't have to hire anybody else. And we got all those positions emptied, which means then now we can come in here and clear that space out, which means now we got a bunch of stuff that we can put other places or something. We can do something with it. Oh, we still got all this crap out here to get rid of too. Bing, 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 bing. And we got 
Is that a stretcher? That is a stretcher. Is that a stretcher in use? Why is there an invisible stretcher there? Oh, because it's there now. Hooray. Okay. So that was an indication that it was the stretcher parking position. All right. Can we get rid of this bed yet? Is he dead? Is he gone? Can, 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 damn it. Get this guy out of my AO. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Here, I can do this. I have a, whoop, back to game. Hello. There's a way to fix this. I can fix this. You want to know how to fix this? This guy right here, they just put back in the bed. Patients be transferred to a new room. Okay? So now they're going to come move him. See how they put the wheel, wheelchair back and stuff? So someone's coming to transfer him. They'll probably bring something from up here. Yep. There she goes. So once we get rid of him, and feel free when you're doing your hospitals. All right, there we go. Goodbye, asshole. Oh, thank God. Ping. Now, why are you so fired up about getting that guy out of there, A-Train? Because <laughs> we needed that space. Three, four. We needed that space. Uh, rotate this way. Yes, thank you. One, two, three, four. Why'd you need that space, A train? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Phew. God, that was a lot of effort to finally make that. I, I didn't even think about that. I could have just dismissed him, sent him to another hospital. All right, and let's go up one more floor. <gasps> hmm, that's in the way. You know what? Uh, that's a bit of a problem. It is correctable, however. So, let me do this. Let me fix this problem real quick. I'm going to... I don't want walls. I want stuffs. Okay. Ditch that. Ditch that. Um, rotate that there. Rotate that there. Move that there. And now... Um, we just take out that door, take out that wall, and then we put in a restricted area door here, boom, and then we can take out this door here, and now our problem is solved, so now we can put in now we can put in okay when can i put it uh, uh, you know what hell with it elevator planner one two nope one two three four boom <sighs> thank god we can get an elevator in here now elevator there's the elevator ray blocked by another object the hell is the elevator blocked by? There it goes. I'm missing something here. What is the problem? Oh my gosh. Down. What the hell is it blocked by? Oh, the windows. Shoot. I forgot. Got to take them out. Now we should be good. Now, hoping, praying, praying to God. Ah, oh, Jesus. Where's the damn elevator thing? I just had it here. Oh, there it is. It's a whole block of its own. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. 
No, we're not. How in the hell are we having a problem here, people? Shit. It's going. It's want. It's wanting to build out here. I don't want to build it out there. What is the damn problem? There's no windows on the bottom floor. Are the windows here on three? Nope. There's no windows on three. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, you're, you've got to be fracking kidding me. Got to be kidding me. <sighs> Elevator. Oh my god, it was the freaking sticker on the wall. <laughs> Boom. Elevator, bitches. Yeah. Shit. Fudge. Man, what a pain in the ass. It was the stupid sticker on the wall. It was an item that you wouldn't have been able to, you have to remove, but, you know, whatever. Huh. <sighs> okay, so sometimes you can have little pain in the ass moments like that, and it is what it is. All right, then you make the walls look pretty across the front of the elevator, and by this side of the elevator, and don't be crashing into my stuff. Okay. All right, people. Simple. Hugh. Okay. There we go. Now we have an elevator at the ER annex. And now we you know blip, 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 disinfected dispenser. Boom. Shoo. Now we move this poster because this poster doesn't serve any purpose there. If we rotate it here, it really doesn't serve a purpose either. Uh Sure. Digestion. Yeah, that matters. Okay. Cool beans. Now, remember what I talked about, like, I don't know, a couple hours ago? <laughs> so, now where do we stand? After all that willy foo foo crap. No clear diagnosis. Oh, Judas H. Priest, what is your problem? Okay, it's got otorrhea as opposed to diarrhea, acute mastoditis, I, or eight, ooh, ugh. well, and more diagnostic equipment. Uh, do we have a doctor who can do differential diagnosis? No. CT, techno, technologist unavailable. Well, hell, that's correctable. Where's CT? Is that there on the left? Hold, please. Uh, let's go to radiology and manage. And, oh, we don't have people here. Well, golly. Let's get someone in here. Radiology, radiology, radiology. Uh, tell me what these people's issues are. He's a drinker, or she's a drinker. He's a faster wor a fast worker, but late. And is a hard worker, or she is. 37% radiology. That puts her top kick. Uh, 363. Sure, you're hired. And then over here, we got more people. Jane Taylor, the drunk, has moved up the list. But we don't have to redo the thing because Gene Campbell, who is even more expensive, Radiology 3438. Dude, get a haircut. Alright, cool. Now we can do CT. And now we can get those walls out of the way and see what's going on. Huh. 
this room over here should not be serving any purpose. Actually, yeah, the doctors are there and the nurses are here. Now, this is not really a factor. But didn't we take this space out of play? We did. So now we can do two things. There is no restroom in this area. So we can take out all this crap and then we can take out this janitor position and we can put in my pre-built. I think there's six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tiles. Awesome. This is why it's good to do pre-built. Uh, you can customize your stuff by switching to Geico. So, let's go into, into this here. Someone's still working here. That's okay. Oh, someone's still working there too. What in the ass? Who's working there? working in that spot um, okay I think Someone's using that chair ostensibly. I'm gonna move this stretcher. I like stretchers. Stretchers should be all over the damn place. You want stretchers and wheelchairs just kind of all over. See, we wasted a bunch of money on the nurses station. We'll recoup some of it here. Um, We're not worried about it being here now, so that's fine. Okay, so we're just gonna clear out this space with the El Delito, El Trasho. Except somebody's butt is occupying that seat. Now that may, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, aha. That is not an issue now. Um, walls. Let's take the walls out here. And that there. Okay. So they can just sit and spin. I can work around them. So now we're going to go to our 4x6 bathroom and closet. Rotate. Rotate, rotate. Can't build it there. We can build it right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, our janitor, who is over here. And which section is this? This is... Radiology has its own janitor. Okay, that's fine. You can push a card up the uh, elevator. It'll help you. So, you... Oh, there's three... Ooh, ooh. That's okay. We can work this out. All right, so Jessica Allen. So what we need to do then is go radiology and then do cleaning closet and do that. Now we see this here. Peter Smith, Mark Williams, and Jessica Allen. So Jessica Allen, we're going to move here. And then Mark Williams, we're going to move here. Okay, that takes care of them. Now, this guy shouldn't even be here right now. So that's a non-factor. Um, we could move him to a different department. I don't feel like radiology needs like multiple janitors. One for day and one for night shift should be just fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Who's, um, whose department is this? Oh, actually, let's um, make sure we've got enough in the... Aha! 
There we go. We're going to move his ass to night shift. And move him into ER department. So, what you do to do this, what you do to do to do, all right, you go pull up this. Nope, he's labs. No, he's freaking right there, dude. And now we de we dezoned him. So if I pull up an employee, that guy should appear on this list. It's he's not. All right. So then instead we go to radiology. Uh. uh There we go. All right, so who's the one main specialist? Okay, so he does not have a shift. All right, so now we click on him, and then you go uh, right here, and you select department, and we're going to change him to ER, okay? So now we have him available to go to, he's going to stay on overnights. He's a gamer. He's a fast learner. He's got a long commute. He's a slow mover. So now we go down here. Is this the first floor? It is. And we're going to put him here. So we take this, and we're going to put Peter Smith right there. So now Peter should not be going to the workplace because it's freaking middle of the day. But now that just resolved that issue. Now, uh-oh. Now it gets interesting. We're going to do code blue. Now let's watch. Let's. So now the doctor's going to come in here. So we got a code blue. She's suffering from the dehydration because Mama said dehydration is the devil. Uh, you don't want vending machines in the waiting room if you're going into the clinic, because you don't want to the patients to consume something that may uh, affect their vitals. All right, so now she's going to come in here to the OR. And then the doctor will get called in here. Dr. Jackson's on his way. Okay. And now, so TC Trauma Center Hospitalization. And now she's suppressed. The dehydration has been suppressed. They're rehydrating her. And hooray, saved. I'm going to get this. Uh, I'm going to move this curtain thing. We're going to get rid of that. Cool. Well, I'm going to block the view. The view is cool. Now he's going to feel her up. Let me fix this side of this wall. All right, so see here, she's in critical state. But this is, now she's, she's, he's got her on oxygen. He's trying to find out what exactly is wrong with her. So he's doing a thorax percussion, which is tapping on the thorax on the chest. And now he's doing neurological testing. So they have her hooked up to an IV. Yeah, so that's why, um, like when you go into doctor's offices and stuff, you won't you know, typically find anything more than room temperature water because they don't want you to foul up like your, your temperature or anything, you know, if you're NPO for testing. They don't want to put you in a situation. Oh, she got salmonellus. All right, what is that? Infection. Let's pause this and read. So here's how we learn stuff from the game. Salmonella infection is one of the common bacterial infections that affects the human intestinal tract. Humans become infected by ingesting contaminated water or food. All right, and that's how. So she got salmonella. She got sick. She's probably puking and blowing it out her ass at the same time, right? Because we've all had food poisoning, and it got her dehydrated. There you go. 
problem solved. Rehydrate her ass, get her on some antibiotics. So we can do that. And uh, that's temperature. This uh, relieves spasms. Stomatics. This uh, strengthens and stimulates the stomach. Yeah, so this is where we can play doctor here. Is we can make, uh, you know, hey, do this, do that, do the other. Let's get rid of those notifications. And now she's no longer code blue. We've got to figure out what she's got. She's getting rehydrated. And she's going to go to HDU hospitalization. So at some point, they're going to move her to HDU, which is up here on the second floor. Not that yeah, she's, she's probably going to go get her right now. Or she just transported someone over here. I wish they were a little cleaner with the pathing. So we've got two people in observation. All right, she's been picked up. And there she is. And if we take this and we do, mm, no, that's gonna pin to her. There it goes, centers on it, on her. So now she's in HDU. So again, five different tiers of beds. HDU is the second from the bottom, second lowest. Trauma centers one is five or one. These beds are number one. ICU and observation would kind of be two, three. We don't have an ICU. And then you have HDU. See, she's saying Bleh. she was throwing up. Antibiotics, antidiarrheals. And say we've gone from trauma center hospitalization to HDU hospitalization. So as long as see she's active on rehydration, so she's gonna be good to go. HDU is high dependency unit. So um hospital hospitalize the patient in a high dependency unit. It, it's just it's a higher level of monitoring because they are, you know, a potential collapse risk. Like this lady here, she got cystic fibrosis. It's not gonna kill her. Okay. She's on bronch bronchodilators and IV antibiotics. Uh, she's in regular hospitalization. Okay. So she's in the regular ward. This person's in the regular ward. What do they got? They got lupus. You know? It's a critical state. There's at least one symptom leading to collapse, which is her irregular heartbeat. They got her on IV corticosteroids, uh, corticosteroids beta blockers, analgesics, and regular hospitalization. If she starts to crash, we'll code blue her. I see this guy's farting around on his phone. So here you're just kind of chilling and recovering. Here you're being monitored more. See, there's more monitoring equipment. Okay. And then you go up to observation, which is the next level up. And then you go to intensive care unit, which is when you're coming out of surgery. And they want to make sure you're stable before they put you into like HDU. And then you now see the nurse is checking her out. So the nurses make their rounds every hour. Yeah, she had diarrhea and she was vomiting and that dehydrates you. I had that happen when I was in Okinawa. It's, it's a symptom of dehydration. I mean, if you get food, if you get food poisoning, then your body tries to kick out whatever it is that's making you sick. And it'll do that with blowing it out your ass or out your mouth. One or the other. It's getting out of your body. But the hydration is key. I mean, they can do that with IV. If, your stomach, if you're not able to take liquids in orally, 
then they'll put you on IV, right? And then that'll rehydrate the body, and then you can start working the path to recovery. All right, where are we taking her? Temperature measurement. Oh, they're just taking her to a diagnostic office. Is that going to be up here on three? I think she's coming up here to three. Nope. Unless she disappeared off the cart. She went. Oh, I think there's a bug and we just can't see her right now. She's coming down here for exam. Yeah. Maybe nope. <laughs> Maybe nope. Not quite. Where the hell did she go? Oh, she is there. Love it. Dun, dun, dun. That's so funny. Feeling any better? Hospitalized, examined. I'm not sure what that. Oh, physical exam. I imagine they're going to give her antidiarrheals and stomachics. Yay! Da -da -la. We got to our 20 patients per day, and we got a reward for our efforts. All right, now we need to focus on making a profit. Okay, well, you know what, guys? I think that makes a good place for us to hold this up. We have gone long on this stream, but hey, we got, we got our patients moving through, right? We cleared up uh, the pathing. And open up space so they can get in and register, come see the doctors and the offices. We move the on-call for the ER docs over to the ER annex over here. So they're where they're supposed to be. We rearrange so we've got the trauma centers on the first floor. So it's off out of the meat wagon, in the door, take a left, and put them on the bed to get them churched up. Then we got an elevator installed. So now they don't have to go all the way through to here. To go all the way the hell up here and now I think we've got this space cleared out actually and we do we do we do we do we we do do we decimal system okay so now what we can do actually is just boom clear that space hooray so this uh, now is corridor space I'm not sure whose corridor it is. Whose corridor is this? As I am? Yeah. So then we just go to corridor and go ker plunk ker -plui. And then you can combine this stuff into one big space just by doing this. And then by doing this. Nope. Got to do this. There. And then we can make this corridor into part of this corridor by doing this. Actually, it's probably going to separate it and we're going to have to do all this again. Uh, do that. That. This. And 
this and now it's all one big corridor space see so yeah uh what else did we do we got um elevator installed moved observation up to floor two nurses station restrooms we consolidated restrooms with the um janitor closets because that makes sense you don't need janitors everywhere all right so that the janitors up there because this is their part of the er department they'll come down and clean this up down here all right that's the way that works nurses station so got the er organized now focusing on making a profit i think would be fairly straightforward i'm i'm not totally sure i think what we can wind up doing is moving the doctor's on-call location over here for internal medicine for their operating room here, which is like your kind of outpatient operation stuff because it doesn't make sense for them to be here on two and their operating room to be over here on, in the annex, right? That makes sense. But the thing about that that makes sense is what happens in operations sometimes. Well, things go sideways. If things go sideways, cart them out on the stretcher, into the elevator, boom, boom, and they're in the ER, in the trauma center, right? So that's why it helps to make sure there's easy pathing between anywhere where shit can hit the fan and the place where they clean the shit off the fan effectively, right? But then once we move these doctors out of this space here, that will allow us to move x-ray up here. And then we'll have x-ray, MRI, and CT all together. So radiology will then be grouped together. I think we still have one other part, and I think that's this. I think that's cardiography. Oh, that's first floor. Oh, yeah, because see, x-ray is up here. And then this is the uh, CAG unit. So we got to get this all consolidated. We may move uh, radiology up here to three and then move um, hematology from one up to two and then move microbiology from two, three down to two to this space. And if we move that space upstairs, right? Boom, boom, get that moved. We got a diagnostic unit. We got some things we could switch around here. There's no reason to have this here and have this here. That's Department of Redundancy Department. So, yeah. Then if we get rid of this, we can move probably uh, one of these two up there. And radiology goes to three, labs goes to two. And then it just becomes a part of internal medicine. You know, we just make a couple of tweaks with that. And then I think we'll be in good shape. Lots of fun stuff, though. It's a, lot, it's a big puzzle, but there's lots of thinking. And you learn about medical stuff, which is super cool. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Project Hospital. Now available on Steam from Oxymoron Games. Go check it out. Really cool. And there's a bunch of add-ons and stuff, so just get the whole kit and caboodle. It's super cool. Lots of fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And then uh, we'll give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about Project Hospital. Now available on Steam. Subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. Chances are I'm going to take a little break here. Have some dinner. Rehydrate. Check on the world. See what's happening. And we will probably do some more uh, Medieval Dynasty this evening. So uh, look for that. And uh, we'll make that happen. So. Uh, also join us on discord there's a link in the description below and there's a link to our paypal if you want to help support the channel financially paypal is well shoot there i go reading off the website but it's changed so anyway link below takes us to paypal and uh, we appreciate your support um and hey if you're catching this later just throw a comment down below a smiley face or something ask a question hey if you enjoyed it put a comment down below that helps us with the youtube uh youtube algorithm so with that I appreciate it. Hope everyone has a happy Easter. And I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.